Hi everyone, I'm Ron and today we are diving into Whimsical, a powerful intuitive tool for creating diagrams, flowchart, wireframes and collaborative documents. Whether you are a designer, developer, project manager or just someone looking for an all-in-one solution, the video will show you how to get started with Whimsical. Right, so we will talk about everything, setting up your Whimsical account and designing wireframe and tips for maximizing your productivity and everything in here. So, the first step is setting up your Whimsical account. So simply just go to Google, search for Whimsical and click on this first link here. Then you have to just go to the pricing. Now this is a pricing option. Now here, let's get started with uh, zero dollar here. But you can see there are four tier plans. The maximum which goes around twenty dollars. Monthly is slightly expensive as compared to annual, right? Except this enterprise plan here. But for this, you need to contact them because they are going to give you a custom rates or I think they're going to help you at a different scale, right? Now, I will just go and start with the zero dollar and I will just use my Google account to create an account because that's a really easy and seamless way. You can just use a normal Gmail address here. So, okay, so this is how it's going to load. Now here you have to enter your company name. So I'll just write here. That is basically creating, you know, Filex Express. This is a workspace, right? So workspace, you can call this as a team, right? Let's say you have a four or five people of team. You can completely work on this workspace. So just go and click on create workspace here. Now this is a team name. So inside workspace, you can create different, different teams. And this is one of the team here. Let's say this, uh, I'm into content, right? So I will just make a team for content creation. So I will just write here content creation team and I can just go and press the enter and I can just click on continue here as you can see here this is Filex Express that is my workspace now I can you know I can create more workspace I can manage more workspace and inside that workspace I can create different set of teams but in the free plan we get only one workspace if you want to go with a different workspace as you can see here switch workspace and click on create new workspace and here they will ask you to create the next new workspace right so let's say i will just write here second let's say second workspace i'm just naming it like this here right and click on next and same email address and click on enter now this is the editor now you can invite your team member right i will just skip this part and this is a second workspace now if i just go here i can switch between each workspace now inside workspace i can make teams so as you can see here this is everyone at the filex express right so every team member will be shown but as you can see here this is a different team so here only those people can access content creation uh, team or you can say project or team right they can, only they can access who have the access right in short my content creation team not everybody let's say i have a different team for digital marketing so digital marketing uh, team cannot access content creation work now here we can start with a complete doc template or just start with a board template, right? As you know, it's pretty good for creating flow chart and workflows, right? Now this is a form, this is a file, projects and post. So inside the file, you will find everything which you're working on, right? Whether it's a board, whether it's a diagram, wireframe, visual thinking, mind flow, right? A document and you can also access it a template. So if you don't know what is a template, so template is really useful because you don't need to start from completely basic, which I will show you later in this video. Now this is a post. So here it says, uh, keep your team aligned with the thoughts process. If you got new idea, let's say you want to take a lunch party, right? So you can just put it here and everybody can communicate it here, right? And let's say there's something very important that you want to announce regarding content creation, not every team, right? You want to announce it only content creation and this is important for everyone. So you can just post it like a normal social media. So I'll just go to post and let's say this is a team update or check-in or feedback and I select here general, right? And I can just write here, hey, hello. And I can just write the complete information and click on publish, right? That is pretty easy. Now let's get back to the home. Now here you will find this option start with a doc, doc, uh, doc I mean document template or start with a board template. So I will just go with the board template, right? document you know that's i will show you later it's fine now here you can just renew it by the way this is a template everything is editable right so let's say i can change it let's say i'll just write here content and let's say content warms right 
just turn on the thing here if i just click and hold and i can move it right so let's say i wanted to put it here in the top now as you know this screen is completely infinite so you can just move it wherever you want that is pretty cool if you have used you know um the figma or webflow so that is pretty much simple here right and i can just move it let's say i want to zoom it here i can zoom it here i want to add a text so let's say with this one so i can just click and hold put it here zoom it here let's say i want to make it like this or like this completely easy let's say i want to make it small so i can just make it small here right so this is how we can do they should also give an option so i can adjust it directly from here Right, for example diagonal so if i want to make it small i can just make it small like this anyway that's a extra feature right and i mean that is much more easy right because that is available on figma webflow and other this kind of tools now this is a description so you can write here let's say i will just write here just make good videos that's it i can put a logo so how you can put it i mean this is how we can just zoom out and zoom in right so this is a vector image that's why the quality remain pretty much solid but if i want to replace it up i can always replace this up right for example i want to put it like this right and let's say you can see this is a multicolor and let's say i just wanted only one solid color or just normal color i can just do this by the way i can change the color let's say i want it into yellow so i can just put it and this is a multicolor and let's say you want to make more things here this is a flow chart by the way now you can change it and you can just move it right pretty much you know this now how you can connect this line so let me show you if i just go and click on here let's say i will just go and click on like this right so automatically it will create a new segment and from here i can just go and create another segment let's say here box two now let's say i want to create a side box here so i will just click on here and it will create a something like this a new side box let's say i want to make connected something from here so i'll just put it drop down here and so we'll write here small box right and in if i just press enter then it will take me to the another bar right and if i just press somewhere else it will vanish so let's say i want to create something like this it will help me to create like this so it will just keep creating your flow chart and let's say this is if i want to move only this much part to somewhere else so i can just click and hold right let's say i want to click and hold and uh, i think yeah okay so i need to kick and try your space here and just move it somewhere else right and i want to put it like this back so i can just put it here back right pretty much easy you can just manage your team member you can put an image right and this is a name you can edit this but let's say you want to create something on your own right so how you can do this now let's go here now let's say i want to add something here now you can see here this is diagram shape so if i click on here i can create a diagram shape now let's say i want to create something like this right pretty much easy i want to put a text here so i'll just double click on it and right here let's say round round circular i want to make it a little bit bigger the text should be bigger so i can just make it bigger here right now let's say i want to make a solid color let's say yellow so i can just put it yellow right i want to change the outline i can just put outline right if i want to make it invisible so i can just make it invisible right and let's say somehow i want to change the shape so i can still change the shape here right so it's pretty much easy i like this shape a lot now let's say i want to change the text font you can change it here you can make it bold italic right pretty much easy you can add even link so i can just put it link here let's say i'll just enter here www.google.com click on add to link page so if somebody click on here automatically they will be redirected to google as you can see here right pretty much easy and here if i just go and click on it right if you double click on it then you will get the edit access and you can just edit this up right wherever however you want pretty much useful now let's say if i want to create something that's a circle right so let's say this is a circle and let's say i will just write here circle one I will select the text i will make it big here now let's say i want to create a one more circle so i'll just put it here like this let's say this is a shape here pretty much simple i will just write here circle two right same way i can just make the text size bigger let's say okay i have added a link now let's say i want to connect it up from here so i can just connect it here now let's say i want to again connect it from here right and uh, 
I think I did a mistake here. Okay. So now if I just go and select it, right, there's a, I can change the dotted line. And let's say I want to connect it like this. I can always do this, right? And I can put a text in between even though if you want, right? And that is how it happens. Let's say I can even connect it like this, right? However you want, you can do this. Pretty much easy thing to do. Now you have got a lot of shape. You can experiment with this. Now let's say I want to add a sticky note, right? And let's say that sticky note should be connected, right? So let's say I will just make this sticky note here. Now it's sticky notes somehow it should connect it with this one so i can just connect it like this now let's say this is a circle and i want to delete this uh, line here so i'll click on it press on delete now if i just press on here it will automatically give me an option to add a circle so if i just go and click on it it will add a new circle and let's say i want to add a new sticky notes so i will just go and click on plus right and in this way you can create a plus icon and in this way you can just keep continuing the flow now this is a sticky note there's a lot of different colors for it right now this is a wireframe model so if i just go and click on here you can see here these are the connectors so let's have just go with the elements so i will just take a solid button here right and pretty much this is useful for those guys who are uh, you know for example i can connect it like this uh, they do the ui or workflow mind flow you can just do it pretty much easily right and this is how you can just create it. I can connect with something else. Let's say I want to put a text here, right? And uh, let me zoom out here and I can just connect with this one. Uh, let's say I want to make it big. I cannot make it big. I have to increase the text size, I think so. Yeah. Okay. And at the same time, I have to make it like this. So this is how it happens and you can just add the icon let's say i want to add animal or nature so you can see here this icon so i can put the icon here right the icon is here now uh, i wish there could be an option where i can just connect this but actually it isn't now in the icon section you will find a lot of options for example this is animal and nature and you will just keep on finding it right this was just an example now you can see add links so i can just add a links here and automatically i mean this link is basically backlinks right not the link which will redirect to some xyz website it is a backlink so let's say i want to put it like this i can just add a link pretty much easy let's say i will just add here hi hello and this is a you know link and i can just put it between the line and it, it will automatically get connected right so you can just experiment you have the full freedom and you can just create it let's say i want to create a section so this section is only for this one so it will create a section right so let's all just section two now i can just move the entire section here you can hold and move it somewhere else right pretty much very decent now you can just generate with ai so let's say create a summary click on create now let's see whether it's worked perfectly fine or not yeah it does so you can see here creating summary what is a summary so it will just create the entire you know through ai it will create a mind flow chart now i can always edit this up always have an option right and pretty much it does the work in a really easy way now let's say this is a template now you hear as you know the screen size is infinite right so i can just keep going now let's say i just come up here i'm going to use a, a starter prioritize matrix whatever it is so i can just put it here right now all your workflows are available here right it's pretty much easy pretty much very simple right edit this up you can add now this is a more tools here there's a hell lot of tools man so for example, you can upload your emails as a timer. It's a uh, the way pro version. I have to buy a subscription. There's a diagram shape, right? And there's a lot more. And you can just keep going. Let's say I want to create a mind map. So I will just go and click on here. Uh, this is a mind map. Now I can keep creating the mind map here. Right? Pretty much easy and simple way. And this is how you can do so. And there's a lot of tools. And let me know whichever tool you found really useful here. I want to get back now let's say you want to present it up so you can just present now as you remember when i made a section here this one so it created into a different uh, thing here but let's say i want to present this one so it will automatically take me here let's say i want to go to the section two so it will take me to the section two here right now let's say i will just go and click on present and it will exactly present it up right and this is pretty much useful feature now you can comment on this let's say i want to comment on section two so I will able to add a comment. Let's say I want to share with a team or let's say to my clients. I can just copy the link and share it to them. I can even export the entire file, everything here. Now this is embedded. So you can just crop to the current viewpoint. Let's say you want to take a picture here, right? Or you want to embed it into your website. So you have to just copy the 
uh, code here and go, uh, paste it wherever you want to embed it. Now you can even print this entire workflow out. So that this are really useful feature. Now at the same time, I can just go back to my content creation and this is the entire workflow which you have seen. Right now, let's say this is a file. I want to, I have already explained the board section. Right now, if we just go to the document, document is pretty much, uh, you know, easy here. Hello, hello, right? And we can just keep adding here. Let's say I want to add a section, press the enter. You can add to the board, so you can connect with the board here, right? And automatically the entire board will be added, right? Now you can see, right? And let's say I want to add here something else, right? And once I, you can see this option of add document, you can interconnect everything here. So these things are really useful and all your projects will be show up here. So make it happen with the project. So if you want to create a project, so inside workflow, there's a team. Now inside team, there's a project. Right now inside project, let's say I'm just right here, file x p one right? And you can see here, there's a task. So task is basically a Kanban board. If you remember, if you have used Trello or Jira or monday.com, right? These are very useful productivity or management tools here. Now I use Trello. So let me show you, this is a Trello topics of Trello here, which I'm working right now, right? So pretty much I can just do here, let's say I'll just write your topic one or task one, write a description. You can assign your people. It is already in box, right? So you can change it. Right, and let's say create more. This is a section. So by the way, let me show you. Let me first of all say, this is called section. Inbox, up next. Now you can create your section. Right, let's say I'm working topic one. I can just move it to the up next, right? Let's say I've started working, so it is progress. I've completed the video. I will just move it to the done. Now automatically the status changes. Now my team can discuss on it, right? I can discuss on it. Let's say I want some changes in the topic one. So I will just tag that person. I can even attach a folder. I can even link my, uh, you know, board which I have mentioned here, right? Pretty much easy, very uh, easy and you can um, make sure this is a turn because you will get notification regarding whenever there's a change happening in topic one. You can share the link, you can archive this, you can delete this, right? Very much basic stuff here. So this thing is really useful because it will help you to manage all your day-to-day -day data here. And this is a post. Now you can create a post. I've already gave you know, a way to do it. So let's say you have given access, there's a 10 people who are working on your content creation, but you want to only, those people, only five people should access this task tab and overview. So only they can access, you can even set up to that. So these are the things really useful. Now you can just go and click on create new in the create new, you will find this um, basic starter pack here and which kind of project you want to work. So whether it's a board, document, task, folder, whatever it is, you can do this. Right, and this is really easy thing to do, very simple. Now, I hope you found this video very useful because I've explained in detail, but even though if you have some questions, let me know and I will help you with it. Thanks for watching this video.